Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome back or to the channel, Fisherman Dad Jimmy. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and smash that like button if you're new. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you're not doing so because I post everything I do pretty much every day on there. I try to at least. But today's episode, nothing special, nothing too crazy. We're just gonna be out here pond hopping, having a good time. We have some overcast conditions. We'll see. We'll see if we can find maybe some late spawners here. I know I'm pretty sure they already all spawned out at this spot because this pond actually started spawning really early. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna be done early. But who knows? I'll be out here. It's pretty windy. My GoPro is only like on only like on 50%. So I don't know if I'll be able to catch enough before it dies. But I'm just gonna try to shoot a fun little video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, let's get straight to the action. fairly fairly clear so i think this big swim bait might do good still throw, i still got tight on that chase baits prop duster from the previous video um and i still got a bandito bug tight on ah just hit a tree but uh there's a lot of grass down there that's been growing lately actually I do see a little bass spawning right there let me try to catch him real quick i don't know if he's on a bed or he's just chilling but we'll find out right now. I'm gonna throw a bandito bug at him. Let's see if he'll swipe at it. Oh no, I got stuck in some moss. Ah, I think I might have spooked him by doing that. Oh wait, there's another one in here. So there's two of them. These are really small guys, like they're super small. So about a pound each. Oh, he didn't like that. I hit him with the bandito bug. Got him, got the little guy. <laughs> I hit him in the head. I doinked him. Doinked him. Doinked him with the bandito bug. And that pissed him off just enough. Hey, I thought he's actually bigger than what I thought. Oh, oh, oh. He's doing some 360 type moves. Hold on. Got my guy. My guy. All right. You're making this thing do like some helicopter type movements. All right. I'm just going to manhandle you. All right. Look at this. Absolutely tore it up. Easy catch, and we just got here. Not even, what, 10 minutes in into the pond? Let me, uh, let me put this guy on Snapchat, on Snapchat, on Instagram real quick. Ah, oh, bloody hook set. Popped right out though. I think he should be fine. He's on top of the mouth. So I actually got a snail knot on, tight on that. So I'm gonna hook him on top of the mouth every single time. So let me get some pictures of this guy in. Let's put him back. So I'm just gonna have to give him a little toss right there. He's good, he swam off that way. Like he's gonna circle around, he's looking for his bed. So this is gonna be the perfect time to try to catch that female. I'm gonna hurry up and try to freak up real quick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I got it to react on the headhunter. I just didn't get a good hook set. On the bandito book. Bandito bug got her. Oh, yes. I knew it. I knew the bandito bug will get it done. Oh, it's a good fish. This is a good fish. Look how dark she is. Oh, my gosh. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Oh, look at her tail. She's so dark. I really got, I got to take a picture of this one for sure. Fish number two on the bandito book. Look how dark she is. She's such a pretty fish. <sighs> it was worth it. I'm trying to get her safely. She's pretty big. I don't like tossing big fish, but I don't want to fall over this bank either. So I'm just going to give her like a little gentle toss in there. She'll be good to go. 
Look, there she goes. She is gone. Whew. Good one, guys. All right, guys. Day two on our random fishing. So I'm actually here at this classic spot I usually I used to come to when I was a kid. And I'm just going to walk this wall and uh, see if there's any beds. I'm going to throw on the, the bluegill. This is by Mike Buka also. It's the same people. Same collab with Catchco that make the the bull shad. So it's pretty much like a bull, like maybe bull shad, but just in a bluegill style. See if this gets them fired up in there. I saw two bass in there, but they're just not they're not locked in on beds. We had a cold front come in last night, so I think that might have messed with them. But let's see if I can give them a bite on this. That one. Oh, he's running with him. Just both flip him. <laughs> kind of foul hooked him. But we got one. We got one. <laughs> this guy got foul hooked. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that. I'm gonna need my pliers for this one. Oh man, my bad little guy. He came out of nowhere. He swiped at it. And he swiped at it the wrong way. And then we're getting foul hooked. But at least we know these treble hooks are freaking sharp. So here we go guys. Nice little chunk on the catch co. Bullgill. Look at that. Kind of foul hooked. I guess he still counts. But uh, let's put him back in the water. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. It was a fun one. I just went out for a, it was like two days in a row. It was fun. Caught me two three three fish. But I hope you guys enjoyed that one. It's kind of like a little random episode. Didn't really do any challenges. But if you guys want to see any crazy challenges, anything like anything that you're, I think I could do, I'll do it. Let me know below. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Fisherman and Jimmy. Signing off right now, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Cue that beautiful B-roll music. Peace.